you know what players want? There's one thing that they want. They don't want microtransactions. They want any of that shit. Do you know what they want? They want to be able to talk to the developers. And they want, when they have issues, for the developers to talk back to them. That's it. They want to have a conversation about the game they are spending their time and money on. That's what they want. And when you can give them that conversation, they are more likely to give you money. Amazing, right? Amazing. That's it. That's all they want. Hello, hello. We're getting pretty scary opponent. Um, whatever, try to write pretty strange way, but whatever. Uh, okay, so now we kind of have the zombie meta 2.0. And um, not the best division for that, because he's going to have like Fulsham Jaegers and that's going to be hard, but I kind of want to try it. All I need is to uh, spend as less points as possible or, uh, you know, over here. And I'll just drive uh, through this spot. We can get a shit ton of gazelle rockets, so uh, this strat is actually very scary, uh, only if you do it properly, because I was testing it in the, uh, how you call it, in the ranked, which is a freaking dumb idea, to test <laughs> new stuff in ranked, because eventually you're going to get uh, loss after loss after loss, uh, but whatever. Because every time I get in ranked, I see something like this. And I cannot say that it's like really funny right now. Because first couple days uh, was actually uh, pretty fun. Later, it was not that fun. Because uh, everybody figured out that you can actually upbet very cheap units. Not everybody, I guess, like top players and that's it you just have that um for example javelins 70 percent accuracy and <laughs> you don't need anything else because obviously we're gonna start with the uh our sas boys and again just just to stop any uh helo i really don't want to lose any of these guys not sure if he's gonna try to do the same move. I might even use like a tank for that. <laughs> Not sure about that, but yeah, maybe I'll use the command Shelly. Because just 10, uh, not 10, 30 points more, but uh, I guess they're gonna worth it. In a fighter. And where should I put it? Uh, and this, this scam, they are bad, don't get me wrong, but you don't really need good units right now, you need a lot of units, so not, not exactly, because let's tell them, ready, and let's go for the game, good luck, have fun. Because um, if this stuff works, you basically win the game immediately. Because uh, there was the zombie meta, but it was like, uh, you know, walking dead zombies. So they were slow, they were not dealing a lot of damage, but they were hard to kill. Now, it's not exactly a zombie meta. Not, not exactly the, uh, you know, zombies that you're used into. Um into the show, uh, you know, The Walking Dead. These guys are much closer to uh, Train to Busan. So they're angry, they're fast, they're, um, you know, they're scary, 
but they can be killed uh, easily. Okay, only here. I'm not even sure. I don't hear any recon there. Okay. Okay. Two commands, that's a lot, but... Okay, he's only over there. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there are guys unloaded. What is that? That they got taken care of. What is that? Two heavy machine guns, that's no good. Get back, landed. Skid a supply chopper. And I guess I'm gonna need a cheap tank somewhere. Yeah, that was a dumb idea out of me. But if I'm gonna be able to run in them, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen before. SA is gonna get killed. Cause that's gonna work. I'll the supply. The SAS could I really need them. Let's get a tank. And our zombies are on the move. Ellie go here. Let's try to kill him. Uh Lost Recon. Uh, let's get HSF. Let's get these guys here. Not really. Uh, let's go forward. So yes, need to get here. I'm afraid of this guy. Um, for this guy. Because uh, I feel like I'm going to need real Milan. And alarm somewhere. I don't feel like SS can win that fight. Yeah. Let's get an HU bomber or some of them. And they, they route him, you see? That's basically the main uh, issue. They do route. Because this is the pioneers. They're freaking, you know. They're scary guys. But they get routed. Where are those guys shooting? Oh, okay. Doesn't make sense. That's it. Yeah, obviously. You need to move your units, you also need to micro and bet. Let's get a bit backwards. There's no need for that. Uh, I need Milan here. Okay, I don't have enough money for cluster planning. These guys are resupplied. Uh, then just fly somewhere here. Hello? I guess a couple small tanks. Do the job. Okay, they're out of... Out of this stuff. There's a Sultan. Go here. Where is my uh, supply vehicle? Still far away. So yeah, that's just in like, he's actually a very good player. It's not like I'm just, uh, you know, um, playing versus some uh, top 10 Southern guy. He's a good player. I mean, I mean it. 
because he knows how to play his uh, high ranked and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, obviously he's going to try to get a CV somewhere. That I'm waiting for. Actually, first of all, I'm waiting for. Okay. Okay, uh, somewhere here, I think. Okay, SAS got stunned. Not good. Okay, LRM needs to get back. This guy needs to go up here. Yeah, too bad I lost SAS. Didn't really want to, but... Some stuff just happened. And you cannot control it. Get unloaded, bro. Ran away and then get somewhere. I can get more SAS. Uh, I might use the FSA. You know why I'm using the FSA? Because right now, the FSA. They actually have a shit ton of damage. Because. They have 70% of accuracy, or 75, I'm not even sure. Which is a lot, like really, really lot. And it's freaking scary, because that was actually Fliggifast. I bet it Fliggifast, because right now you can make a good zombies. So before there was a meta with the bad zombies, now it's the meta with the good zombies. Where are my Bedfords? Why are... That's some shit behind my lines, right? Okay, uh... Not even sure. That is possible. Okay. Yeah, and... I mean, I don't really need a lot of stuff to... mess them up. Uh, not sure if... Boom. Yeah, I'll need to, uh... put, I guess, some Warrior Milan and... some Reconnaissance for that. Yeah, obviously Mortars are good. But... I cannot see at all, like, anything. Actually, I don't really want to sacrifice... I don't want to sacrifice SAS. Because... Why would I sacrifice SAS? Yeah, and basically right now, I'm... Just... Uh seen all his stuff. Let's get more SAS somewhere. And obviously mortars are fucking scary, but I'm gonna get next uh, tick bomber and I'm just gonna clear that mess. to get to those mortars. Oh, let's get this Nietzsche bomber. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Yeah, that's a little great game. Actually, I want to bomb this Jaeger. They're much worse right now for my uh, initial idea. Because these guys, these guys, my guess, they're entrenched. And thanks to some genius guy, you get 90% uh, HE damage resistance if you uh, are in the, you know, in, in the building. Which is great. Let's get this guy. I don't want to lose Shelly. Any means. Get this guy back, this guy back. 
This guy needs to go back. Uh, how exactly does this guy get stunned? Oh, Jaeger. Sure. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, you get routed too. Find your leaders, all that shit. And he quits. And that's actually a good player. Because this shit, it works. Because if you ever get to entrench uh, your units, it's very hard to uh, get back to the game. Because, first of all, if you're gonna use cheap units, highly embedded, you're just gonna win. Secondly, if you're just gonna use you know, any cheap units, not up there. They're still fucking scary. Because they can just out out spam anyone. I had a game where I was defending from this type of stuff for 37 minutes. Eventually I won, but uh it was ultra hard. Because here I feel like you lost like much more than I did. Yeah. And he had to attack into me all the time. He was doing it with smokes. He had uh, some decent units but i mean it's not like my opponent was bad it's more about the um basically it's more about you because look um basically if you're trying to balance some stuff you need to balance it according to um according to the game and for doing it you have to play the game so you cannot just like, we're going to add some stuff just because we want to, or just because it's like, quote, quote, like historically accurate. And basically what they did, they did like the new uh, veterancy rework, which was a great idea, but they completely forgot to adopt the divisions because right now in KDA, you can get 36 KD Jutsun, which are fucking beasts because they're cheap. They're 14 man squads or 12 or 14, 14 man squads. They have an AT and they have enough shots for the AT. And when they give in lot 72 to Rangers, not Carl Gustav, not 84, but lot 72, which has four shots. I mean, maybe there is some type of, you know, like, Historically accurate bullshittery. But, I mean, in game mechanics, you need a lot of shots. Because if you have a lot of shots, the unit is self-sustainable. So you can put it somewhere in a front line. It can operate somewhere behind enemy lines. And you cannot use the unit with the law to block the road. For example, you cannot use air rifles to block the road. Because... They have only four shots, they cannot kill a single tank. Not even with a shot, side shot. And you can use, for example, airmobiles. who have same four shots, but hey, they have like much higher accuracy and uh, they have 20 pen. These guys are scary. And same stuff is like basically all about the uh, balance. For example, AIDS division. The idea of change in rangers was absolutely great because now it's not like the meme unit they actually can do some stuff but you know not giving them at least an 84 that was that was a dumb idea because eights doesn't get a single ifv unit at all you don't get an ifv and balancing it by making their infantry weak that's a fucking dumb idea because it's an infantry division. It should have good infantry. You know? So, right now, we're having stuff like this. Let me find... Has to be the KDA. So, right now, you can do stuff like this. You can have three cars of KDA and three cars of reservists never ending stuff because it's very hard to kill this unit it's 14 men these are like smaller but still 40 points it's good enough unit 
Well, you have a Spetsnaz, you have a Spetsnaz OP, 12 shots, like really? I guess this is historically accurate too, right? 12 shots for freaking huge uh, AT launcher. I was like uh, counting uh, the amount of kilos that they are carrying on their in their backpacks to supply this shit. This four men should have like 100 kilograms only for the uh, RPG-29, except of their machine guns, not like SMG basically, uh, ammo, whatever. So apparently these guys can carry uh, 100 kilograms divided by like four men while our, let me find it, while our special forces, rangers, cannot carry more than four uh, Law 72 for nine men. Seriously, like, this unit can only kill infantry. It cannot kill, like, shit. It's very hard for it to kill any IFE. Because it cannot kill an IFB in one shot if it's gonna hit like the front armor. An IFB. And you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna like get only four shots. So you need to what like drive the freaking supply truck with them. I mean, same stuff for this unit. Fire team, six men, four shots. This kinda makes sense, like not a lot of men, okay. But you can get Mech rifles, 11 men, double the amount of men, two fire teams, basically, same amount of shots. So, when you're trying to balance the game, try to play the game, because this should not be this way. The division that has only one fire team with 84 is just 17 pen. It's not an imba. You don't have like a uh, group anti-char. Just one question, for what reason you need the anti-chars? Where are they? In the uh, French division, where you already have Epilus in the um, Legionnaires and I guess, uh, where are these guys? And these guys. I'm talking about like two French divisions, whatever, if you're gonna like only about these guys, same stuff. Uh, for 11E, you have uh, Legionnaires. For the 5th, uh, you'll get these guys. So, the problem is that infantry has to shine when it fights in the city, right? It has to be like entrenched in buildings and whatever, because that's how it is. While American infantry cannot do it, because if you're going to have couple tanks just standing in range of your AT weapons, they still gonna kill you because you're not gonna have enough of the shots to kill them. And when you assault some uh, towns, you need to have the way to fight versus tanks because one of the easiest ways, uh, at least in the last patch, and this one I'm sure it's gonna be the same, maybe a bit less, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, you just get IFPs, some stuff like uh, BDRs, you get some tanks, and you just fight with vehicles inside the town or in forests versus Americans, because they cannot fight it. If you're gonna drive, uh, if, whatever, this unit gonna go into the forest, and apparently these guys should be much uh, stronger than any tank in a forest. But if you're gonna drive a couple tanks with the front armor to these guys, they won't be able to kill it. And there is no situation where they can do it because they do not have any forward deploy. They cannot go behind the lines because, uh, you know, to find some side shots, rear shots, because only four shots, it's not possible. They're gonna kill maybe one unit and that's it if they're not going to be get spotted and all that stuff. So, especially with the uh, KDA right now, where are they? I guess 
Yep. So right now you have this unit and not not unit where it is. You have this situation. And they're scary. These guys are actually scary. And you don't have to take all of them because you can get like you know 36 KD Jutsu. You will never run out of infantry because it's 14 man squad. You can drive them with the whatever this uh heavy lifters. You have the Spetsnaz to actually fight some stuff. So the problem is that they if they're not gonna make um fast hotfix was this stuff the game will be broken pretty soon because once people are gonna find out about this strat we're gonna end up having zombie meta again and if they're gonna fix zombie meta for like a month or like three or five weeks it took them to fix the zombie meta where they had like zero online so yeah try to play the game try to use uh the divisions in the situations where they should be good and try to find out if it's good or not because i mean magician six shots 55 accuracy 18 pen rangers let's even find out like the exact amount of this stuff that's gonna be 13 pen 45 accuracy whatever four shots so rangers special forces they have an at that is in every possible way let's just do it this way and let's go for the uh kd just to find or reserves whatever so right now you're looking at two units, one of which is reservist, with a very bad old whatever RPG. This is like the worst RPG that uh, Pact gets. And it is better because it has six shots and one more pen and much more stress. <laughs> While if you're gonna get like any regular guys, they're gonna get much better. Because 18 pen, it's very important because a lot of tanks have 17 front armor. And, you know, if you're going to get like regular, uh, I guess it's going to be like somewhere over here. Ah, oh, damn it. Mess it up a bit. Let's get this guys back. And if we're going to get, for example... Um, where are these guys? Over here. Yeah. So, regular guys get 20 pen RPG. 55 accuracy, 20 pen, 6 shots. Again, the biggest problem is 6 shots. Because if this unit will actually hit <laughs> some IFV or whatever with this RPG, it's actually going to kill it. And you only one shot to kill any IFV with 20 pen, even 18 pen. I'm not sure like any IFV can survive the 18 pen uh, hit. Was this? You need to hit twice. Because look, let's find uh, M113 for example. It has to be in this. Oh, okay. Here it is. So. This can get killed in one shot, possibly, because uh, front armor, 13 pen, so 13 minus 2 equals 11, you get 10 HP, that's it. But if we're going to get, for example, uh, where is this guy's BMP, uh, some BMP, where, where are BMP2? BMP2. It has four front armor, so it can survive a hit in a front armor from Law 72. BMP3 can do the same. So, same stuff with the Bradley. Where is the Bradley? 
Um, where it is. Same stuff with the Bradley. I'm not even sure like if Bradley gonna survive it because I can't really remember how exactly Law uh, counts the um, the HE damage. Maybe maybe even Bradley can survive couple shots. Maybe even Bradley and maybe even the M113. I can't like recall right now because I had like I feel like I needed two shots to kill. Um, some mortar on the uh, M113 base. So this is like a huge problem because if you're gonna if you want to make the Ranger division, as you said, maybe it would be much better to actually make it good. So the Rangers would have like higher availability, and they would be like scary units because again, Aids has no IFBs at all, not even bad ones. So that's it, like, that's the huge problem. Because you don't really get self-sustainability with these guys. They cannot carry, like, eight shots or what? They're basically two fire teams. This, like, nine men, whatever. But, you know. So, if we're gonna get into any other diffs, for example, Brits, uh, they have Terriers with the Carl Gustav. Why won't you get Carl Gustav for the, uh, how you call him, uh, for the uh, Rangers? Because look, right now, as you can see, for some reason, four men, Terriers 80 group, have a Carl Gustav, and they have eight shots. In the same situation, Terriel, Terriel Spare, whatever, the, uh, the unit on the right side, whatever, they have only six shots. Can you explain to me how does this work? So, twice amount of men carry less amount of ammo. Because at least if you want to standardize this shit, it should not be standardized to, uh, whatever, only the uh, AT gun. It should, whatever, somehow have some connection to the amount of men that are carrying this stuff. Because Rangers or mech rifles, they can carry much more uh, law than the, whatever, small fire team. And... Um, that was the basically uh, infantry stuff. Let's get to the air. Now, what can you do? You can get, for example, Fliegefosts. Uh, let's get, I guess, what's in the fifths. Um, you can do this stuff 50% accuracy for 25 point unit. That's hell of a lot. While you can do a bit different stuff, you can get. Javelins. Uh, actually, yeah. That's just the division that I just played. 70% accuracy. 75% accuracy. 75. 60. So, even the blowpipe can get like 40. Yeah, exactly. 40. It's like 10 point. Javelins. 35, 70% accuracy. So air, because of that, became like very vulnerable because if you're gonna get a lot of fliegefasts, you're just gonna shut down uh, airplanes. And I had this uh, situation where I was flying with the seat plane and it got double tapped by the updated fliegefasts. And I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure, like, Eugen tells that they have the QA. I'm not sure what is the work for the QA, but I feel like they're just looking for some bugs. You know, just some basic stuff. So, um, for example, let's get, just to show this stuff. Um, no, not this one. Uh, I need an RT. Uh, whatever. 
Let's get this one. For example, if you're going to get uh, M113, they're not actually uh, having better uh, rate of fire. Because actually, they fire absolutely at the same speed. So they aim faster, but fire and speed are absolutely the same. And there was like no hotfix, so it was not changed. So what else? Infantry became pretty strange, where you're going to use a lot of very cheap infantry. And then you're just going to use highly upvetted cheap uh, infantry for like some specific uh, usage, like ATGMs, maybe uh, like man pads. Because it's very hard to kill 36 KT Jutsen while you can start the game with the very cheap AA, for example, or very cheap ATGM that's going to hit the mark. And yeah, that is very huge problem. Because actually, like, look, if you're a game dev, what do you want to do, usually? It's to make people have fun. And you have all the assets for it. You can do whatever you want with the game. So right now we have the, uh, basically for the balance, we have HP, accuracy, and damage. And the range. Only like uh, three or four. While, for example, the... Uh, why this um, Rapira shots are so pissing me off and not only me. It's the um, BMP3 and all of the uh, other um, that use this uh, ATGM. The problem is that, for example, you have an ATGM. For some reason, you think it's the best ATGM in the world because, as you say, it has to be historically accurate. But I guess making this ATGM the best possible ATGM out there, it's still historically accurate, which is bullshit, but whatever. And you give it like 2.8 clicks of distance, pretty high pen, and very high accuracy. The closer they're going to get to their target, the higher the accuracy would be. So if somebody would want to rebalance this unit it would not be adding five more points to the uh unit cost because the same shit happened to su25 uh like in the very beginning of the game where su25 was just killing absolutely anything any tank any infantry whatever and after a couple months of basically whining about it like come on guys figure this shit figure this shit they added five points to the cost it's not a fix like Anyone who suggested this fix second time in his life because it has to be the same guy who was fixing the SU-25. Fire this guy. Like, whatever. He has no idea about the game. He never played it. Or, I don't know, this is done purposely. Because it's not a fix. It fixed nothing at all. And secondly, how do you fix this shit? Because nobody likes it. Everybody hates this stuff because it's imbalanced. You cannot outfight it on range, only with some artillery or airplanes or helicopters. Not a single unit on the ground can outfight this one because of the range. Obviously, we're not going to talk about you can flank them, you can smoke, scam, whatever. We're just talking like pure situation where they're just firing at each other. So this unit gets an absolute advantage over any other unit because of the range and how normal death would balance it there is a couple ways first of all reconsider the uh distance for the shot because actually like whatever even if it's historically fires like for the longer distance than the uh toe two or whatever or conquers okay but in real world it's very hard to find exactly straight line for like three kilometers or like five kilometers whatever so
so it's not really a thing in real world but it's like a very huge problem in the game because kind of everything is flat no bushes no building it's like whatever and what should have been done if that has to stay for some reason second part is the speed this unit is scary not only because it fires from a huge distance but because it fires very fast well as far as i remember they have close to the same uh speed as the toe 2 for some reason i kind of have an idea why they put it this way because they miss uh, read the manual because it has the starting speed like uh around 400 meters per second but average speed is 300 meters per second toe to average speed still is 300 meters per second if i'm wrong whatever <laughs> write a comment about it i'm gonna read it we're gonna discuss it so if you have to leave the distance and if you have to leave the speed you have third parameter it's an accuracy because to balance this unit it has an advantage of very fast missile that flies for the uh, like the longest range missile that flies with the biggest speed make it inaccurate it had 40 percent of the uh accuracy back in the day and it was kind of good because i thought that it should have like uh 30 percent of accuracy because when the unit gonna get into the uh 2650 uh, range so basically regular atdm range it's gonna get to 40 percent so it's still gonna have an advantage but not that huge one because this shot can kill a bmp like a regular one same stuff gonna happen to bradley same stuff gonna mess up like a lot of tanks next uh we have infantry well it has to be somewhere um soviets let's get 39s where is it i can see the this dumb unit dirapira uh the at gun that's the 39s right well, what was the problem maybe 39 doesn't get it like we well no it has to have it I can find Rapira. Uh, so the pack gun, uh, M12 or MT12, I don't really remember the exact uh, number for it. So the gun that shoots was the, uh, how you call it, was the same rocket as the uh, BMP3 does. Let me find it, I really want to find it. Uh, same stuff with the 262. So basically, uh, Kuznika, where the fuck is that? Yeah, I found you. So, it has the same ATGM. Now, basically you're having this unit. How do you think these guys operate with this unit? This is the freaking AT gun. And it's bad. And it's very old. It has no optics. No computer, whatever. It is bad. Secondly, you have T-62. Where is it? Same shit. It's an ultra old tank. And it has the same accuracy. So, a freaking field gun. The old tank and basically modern uh, BMP have the same accuracy. You know? So this is the problem. And to actually balance the whole game, one of the best ways to do it is to add normal optics. So units, for example, advanced units like whatever this shit or Bradley, they need to have good optics because Bradleys are good just because they have very good electronics in it. They have great optics. Like, really great. And this shit does not really. But this one 
is even worse. And this one has none. And they have basically the same shit. So, if you're gonna make the reconnaissance as a stealthy unit that infiltrates somewhere, who has the same optics, but just is very stealthy, so reconnaissance is dedicated to go behind the enemy lines, to sneak a bit further, to see some shit, some more shit. For example, you can use it to uh, identify the positions of the ATGM somewhere, because, I mean, if the ATGMs are not firing, don't make invisible ATGMs, please. And every other unit will have another way to balance them, because they're gonna have a real optics. So some tank might have bigger armor, but better, like, but worse optics. Same stuff with the BMPs. Another way to balance this imba bullshittery is to actually give it bad optics. So it can possibly shoot for, for this distance, but it has to do it much less accurately. And it needs a recon to help it. Well, Bradley will not have this problem. So Bradley would not have the good ATGM, very fast, huge distance, but it would have some optics. Same stuff with the tanks. You can make this tank have a good optics, and this tank have a bad optics. And this have, like, whatever, mediocre. So, eventually, you're gonna get units who could see each other and would not require a recon. Because recon is a dedicated stuff. I mean, you know, it has to be the reconnaissance, not just go forward and die. So my tanks would at least see where they're shooting at. I mean, Soviets had this type of doctrine, but whatever. It was not used by the recon. Uh, so that's the second problem. So basically, the buff for the uh, airplanes was not really a buff, because in the end... A good bath, but much more. And there's a lot of A still. And I guess that was going to be my last concern. Going to be about the air or the US. Let's get its infantry, for example. You see this shit beneath the uh, wing? Why two of these are empty? What's your fucking problem? You have only two? Two out of six occupied with the cluster uh, munitions. We're gonna have this guy. Again, two rockets. Or pylons are empty. I have no idea how are they called in the American army, but whatever. And this guy, just 190 was this amount of speed. So, if you're making a balance, let's get some other unit. This guy costs much more. Has shit ton of rockets. And you might say, okay, but this guy costs more. We can get the MiG-29, which has two more rockets. Yeah, they're close range, but still. For 15 points. Same stuff here. And... MiG-29... has much more range for it. Better accuracy for long-range missiles. And bigger range. And just costs only 15 points more. So... It is bad. Like, F-16s are bad. Well, they should not be that bad. And actually, they have much more speed. MiG-29s have much more speed. And it's crucial. Because a lot of planes have uh, almost the same speed as the F-16. So you cannot catch a plane. At all. Not even as a revenge kill, you know? 
So you can just fly behind it and whatever. You miss two rockets, that's it. So, it is a problem. Because, same stuff was the, uh, where it is, whatever. Uh, same stuff with the AT plane. Again, four of them are empty. This is the multi-role fighter. So, it may be, it may cost like much more. <laughs> there has to be some reason for that stuff. Because only two seat, same stuff. Why it doesn't have any long range rockets? It is slow. Napalm, same stuff. HE, guess what? Same stuff. LGB bomber. This is like the worst LGB bomber in the game. Because it cannot kill a tank. If this if any rocket like this can hit any tank in the world, the tank can explode. Because it's a freaking huge rocket. And tanks are not invincible. So this is the problem. Because these planes are bad. And any F-16 variation in the game is just bad. This guy are not killing tanks. Same for this guy. Only two rockets. Worst fighter in the game. I mean, cost efficiency wise. Useless napalm launcher. Not launcher, but bomber, whatever. So, this is the problem. And... You have this guy. And this guy would not kill a tank too. Because it drops only two bombs. It's the same stuff with the LGB bomber. Literally, it is the same. While the territorial command gets the same bomber. Which actually kills stuff. This guy can kill almost any tank. Even the heaviest tank in the game. And it costs 240. This guy this guy because how much like 25 points less and it's not gonna kill a tank you need to have like two bombing runs to kill it if the tank not gonna smoke off not gonna drive back blah 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 so you know same stuff with this cluster it cannot kill a tank basically so this is like the huge problem because um you said in some of the dev blogs that you're very concerned about people not using units. I'm very happy to hear that. But if you want to fix it, try to find out why players are not using some of the planes, some of the tanks, some of the infantry. And figure out if the reason is that players actually have the better option in the same deck, then that's absolutely fine. Or players just cannot use them because they're not doing the stuff that they're supposed to do. This is the way, really. Because you don't really want to use stuff and just lose the game just because whatever developers wants me to use it. Make it good. Because there are a lot of good stuff in the um, in the game. But the balance, especially for some reason, the balance for the American units. This is useless cluster bomber. This is useless LGB bomber. This is the worst fighter. This is one of the worst cluster bombers. This is somewhat okay, but not really 80 plane. This HE bomber. It's still, it's not going to kill a unit in the building. Or it's, let's say, un very unlikely that it will do. This guy would not kill a tank. So, basically, US have pretty bad air, except of Thunderbolts. But they're, I mean, was today's, like, state of the AA, they're not really, a, you know, you can't really use them. At least efficiently, because a lot of smokes, a lot of good A's, or whatever. All of the F-16s in the game are dog shit. 
And it is a huge problem because US has one of the worst infantry in the game. And I mean, the reason to say that actually US has a good infantry because they have mech rifles with the uh, three machine guns. So what? It's not going to help him if uh, versus this guy you're going to see like a single tank or two IFVs because they're going to land one shot then they're going to get stressed then they're going to land the second shot possibly they're going to kill one IFV then they're going to land third shot which is almost unrealistic situation for the mech rifles because they're going to get stressed they're going to damage the second IFV and they're going to definitely miss the third shot, the fourth shot, because they're going to be stressed as fuck. So this is the problem, because you cannot resupply on the move. You cannot just put somewhere over here the uh, supply vehicle and just get them resupplied with the uh, law, which would be at least somewhat viable. They have to disengage from anything that can fire them to grab themselves in your uh, AT launchers which is very hard to micro and sometimes it's not really possible because it's, if it's like a huge town fight you can't really do it so yeah that's like the main issues with this patch because this needs to be changed pretty strange stuff with the uh, route mechanics because sometimes like updated units are getting routed faster than the uh, unvetted I got the BMP got routed from one shot from some like an or whatever uh, it didn't get killed but it was like fully like the best possible cohesion and get routed immediately so I'm not really sure that route mechanics are working properly. I might be wrong about that part. But yeah. So for now, Rangers became better. But the whole division, not really. Because now you have only one card of the uh, 84, which are still very bad. Because six men, four shots, 17 pen, whatever. Even that stuff is worse than RPG, like an old RPG. So that is kind of the problem. For now, oh, actually about the um, about the cheap tanks. Cheap tanks like uh, I guess it's gonna be somewhere like here, about like T fifty fives. You can use them too. You can use them with the uh, with like the KDA uh, or reservists or whatever because they're cheap. And now, if you are updating your units, you are getting less units. So, if you're gonna update a tank and it's gonna kill like two of these uh, tanks and die, then your opponent gonna bring two more of these tanks and eventually gonna run out of good tanks because you updated them. So I'm not sure about the tanks I'm gonna become like a zombie meta, but I'm absolutely sure that the zombie meta 2.0 is officially out there in terms of infantry fights because artillery is not really working versus any infantry in buildings. 90% of the damage reduction I had to fire like four RT pieces to dismantle a position. And I was firing like half of the game. So, yeah. We actually need a decent infantry in the 8th infantry freaking division. You see? It's 8th infantry division. It's one of the worst infantries in the game in terms of any AT capabilities. This is the best, this is the best unit that they get in terms of the AT. So yeah, 
I feel like we truly gonna need a hot fix in terms of the amount of infantry with the uh, KDA reservists, the Ziggurans, and uh, same stuff for the Brits, same stuff for the US. Uh, I don't think that US any get a, the reservist guys, but here you can get RAF rifles, home security force, and all that stuff. So, yeah, this is like the problem because now you're getting shit ton of these guys and they're tanky and they actually kill shit. So, yeah, I guess with this situation uh, of the uh, of the amount of infantry that you get, that was basically, they never thought about that if they're going to change half of the game, then they actually you need to do the same stuff for this and then test like how it's going to work. But it's fine, like really, because if they're going to do a hotfix like pretty soon, that would be an okay situation because it's not a bad stuff to make an update and then have a bugs in it because that's just how it works. What actually is like very good part about any developer is how fast are you in fixing your bugs? How fast are you in a hotfix? Because for example, you have a player and he's like, okay, some stuff in my game doesn't work and developers make a patch the same day and whatever they fix that stuff that the player saw and a couple other things and the player is like okay now the game is a bit better or even if his personal stuff was not fixed in that day he's like okay maybe they're gonna fix the next hotfix in next patch that's gonna be next day maybe a couple days so yeah and sometimes usually the hot fixes like you may say like okay but they were like uh, reworking half of the game with the amount of stuff like what can they do to make it fast i mean just get the whatever reserve its forces and just cut down their availability like um in third maybe not in half but at least in third and that's already going to be a fix. It may not be a good fix, but at least you're going to show the uh, players that you are actually watching your game, that you know about the issue, that you're trying to fix it, and at least trying to fix it is much better than just not even talking about it like and forgetting. Because when you release the patch, for any software, and the game is a software, you're not selling like whatever, a toy. You're actually selling a software. And when you release a patch, you have to watch carefully about any broken stuff that you're going to get, like the feedback. And then you have to fix it. Or at least say that, guys, it's not the bug, it's a feature. Because either way, if you're not gonna like at least communicate with the um, with the players, they're gonna hate you because they spent money on your uh, product and you're not listening to them. You don't give a fuck about their problems. So talk to the players, do hot fixes, and you're gonna be happy devs. Because this is a problem right now. I'm very happy that they did some changes for the Rangers. But I truly disagree about the Law 72. It's just a very dumb idea. It's not going to work. And I have no idea why it's actually in the game. And yeah. Basically, that's how it works. Just make a hotfix. Do some stuff. Talk to people and try your own product try how the product actually works so basically you have some idea about the uh, okay this division should be good in whatever uh in the uh for example town fights or open fields test it because 
sometimes there's a huge problem with that. If you're going to get the uh, top tier player and basically give him the division, say, whatever, go win stuff, he'll go and he'll going to win. And there's a huge trouble with it because he's going to win just because he's just much more experienced than any of his opponents. And it's fine. I guess I can win playing any bullshittery versus like uh, anyone lower, I don't know, top thousand. Because I'm just better player than they are. That's that's fine. I'm going to lose to like top 10. And guy from the top 10 can play any shit and he's going to win me. But it does not make the game balance. It's the difference between skill level. And it is a problem. Because if the top player going to say, okay, I won like 50-50, that's fine. And like, okay, so there's a balance. No, it's not. Because you can win using different stuff, uh, different whatever strategies. You can use, I don't know, for example, um, gain yourself an air superiority and just win with the planes or whatever, kill every TGM. So try to... If you want to actually see the balance, you need to try to play the intended way. Because when I was playing the intended way for the uh, 24th, because no, I mean, nobody actually plays it this way. <laughs> it's, it's a huge trouble. Because if you're making something and nobody wants to use it, figure out why it happens. I guess that's it.